So is it possible to take a simple plastic bucket and make a composting type toilet that you can use for camping or for emergencies and have a urine diverter and a tight fitting gamma seal lid on it? Have a seat, I'm gonna show you how. A while back, Linda and I did a video and we discussed the use of a composting toilet. And we showed you this, this plastic bucket composting toilet and we talked about using it uh, other than, rather than having a black tank on the, on the trailer. Uh, we talked about the pros and cons, but I never talked about building it. And the reason I didn't is because we're not happy with this one. There's a couple of deficiencies in it. And in today's video, I want to build another one and we're going to correct that. One of the problems is that the exit from this urine diverter is too low and very few containers will fit underneath here. There's all kinds of these uh, for trail mix and nuts and things like that. And only a few of these are well, that will fit. Most of them are just a half inch taller, a little different design, and they won't fit. This ends up being kind of askew like this. So this thing needs to be higher. Another problem we've had is that the funnel that I attached inside here is too small. And for ladies, uh, it's nice to have something a little larger. So we're gonna correct that too. Well, the goal here is to use a simple bucket without building a box around this thing and to have it seal well and to have the urine diverter work well. It's not as easy as you'd think because if it was, there'd be other videos up on YouTube about how to do this and there aren't any. That's because there's some problems in doing this and let me explain to you what it is. First of all, you can't use a five gallon bucket. This is a six gallon bucket. And today I've got a six and a half gallon bucket showing up. That's because you can't get the necessary height to get this up high enough when you have a funnel inside. So you're gonna need a taller bucket. Another prerequisite is it has to have a gamma seal on top. This is called a gamma lid or gamma seal lid. And it unscrews and it has a nice uh, rubber gasket in here. And that's so you can seal it down. Now, these toilets don't put out much odor, but if, you, if it's sitting inside of the, of the trailer and it's hot, when you open the door, you will smell it unless you seal the lid down. So the other, another prerequisite is it has to have a gamma lid on top that seals down like that. Now, as for the urine diverter, there is a company that makes a urine diverter for a five gallon bucket. But the problem is that you have to cut the side of the bucket out for that urine diverter to go in. And then you can't put a gamma lid on it anymore. The thing about the funnel inside here is that if you go to a bigger funnel, it's also going to be a taller funnel. Bigger funnels are also longer. So it takes away from that vertical height that you need. So you can build a box and have a, a different kind of urine diverter in it where the bucket sits down inside the box, but we don't use this like that. We take this out and put it inside of a toilet tent outside. We don't want to use this inside our little six by 10 trailer. We want to use it outside and I don't want to be carrying out a big plywood box with a bucket inside uh, for the weight and for the bulkiness. I just want it to be a simple plastic bucket. That's it. Something I can carry in and out easily. So two things, a larger funnel, and also we want to be able to put the gamma lid on top. So let's see what we can come up with. Right away, one of the problems we run into is that you can buy five gallon buckets all day, cheap. You can get them at Walmart for $3 a piece. When you go to a larger bucket, they're hard to find. I had to order one online, it's gonna cost 30 bucks. But for something for the long term like this, it's worth it. And besides, if you buy a composting toilet, uh, $900 to $1,000. So if I spend $60 on this one, that's all right. 
Well, this is what showed up on my doorstep today. This is a six and a half gallon bucket, and you can see that it's a little taller than the six gallon bucket I had before. And I got a pretty good price on it, you know why? Because I was willing to accept a little bit of advertising. Actually, it's a brewing, brewing bucket and it was taller. So the price is right, it was only 20 some odd dollars. And then on top of that, I ordered this stainless steel bowl made in India. And you know what? It's thick steel, thick stainless, and, uh, but it's too deep. So I'm gonna cut it off right here because I don't want it sticking down any lower than I have to. I'm, I, I, need that, I need that extra height here. So I'm gonna cut this off right there. And then I found this, let me get that right there. I found this stainless steel drain plug and it's a marine fitting solid stainless and with shipping this was about $14 now you can get this in plastic uh, for a lot cheaper probably around half the price um, and I'll put it hey I'll put links to all this down below and I'll put a link to the plastic one too the only problem with this is I made a mistake I thought this was half inch here on the outside so I thought this had a half inch OD on it and this is actually um, a half inch ID. But what I'm going to do is I found out that a half inch hose fits nice and snug up in here. And I'm just gonna glue this hose in there. So there's not gonna be any pressure on it or anything like that. So it should work just fine. Because I didn't wanna use a big thicker hose if I don't have to. I wanted to make the curve coming out of this buck bucket a little easier. Another thing I have here is a brand new gamma lid, or it's called a gamma seal lid. And you can pick these up at your local hardware store. And this is the one I said that you needed to use because it, it's got a rubber seal. Up inside here is a rubber seal. And then this, when you screw it on the bucket, it's also got another rubber seal up here. So even if this bucket is sitting in the trailer or in your RV or your van or whatever on a hot day, you're not gonna get any odor out of this. So once again, the object here is to be able to use just a bucket with no plywood enclosure. It's gotta be high enough to get a decent con size container underneath it. And it's gotta have a gamma lid for odor. That's, the, uh, that's what we're shooting for here. Now to cut this bowl, I could use a hacksaw I could use a Dremel, or I could get it done fast and use my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. Okay. Now I just gotta go sand this edge smooth. Yeah, that bowl is thick. And thanks to two different viewers, I have a whole set, a complete set of step drills, so I'm ready to go. But let me tell you, the step drill is making short work of this process. <laughs> Done deal, pretty nice. I lost audio here, but what I'm doing is just, uh, just pounding in a little bit of a bevel in the bottom around that hole so that the drain sits flush. Nothing fancy, I just kind of freehanded it on top of my vise there. It only took a minute. And you know, you're gonna, you're gonna pour a little bit of fresh water down through here anyway each time you use it. So if you got a little liquid left in the bottom there, it's gonna flush it down anyway, no big deal. Shorten that, looks all right. Okay, the next step is to glue this length of hose up in here. I'm going to sand this with some sandpaper and I'm going to glue this up in here with some Gorilla Glue. That ought to do it. Well, this piece actually turned out pretty well. The glue held really well. And I've drilled a couple of holes in the front here just for uh, riveting it uh, to the bucket. You can use uh, stainless steel screws or something. I'm just going to use uh, stainless steel rivets. I'm going to go ahead and put this gamma seal lid on here. And once you put this on, it does not come off. This is a one-way deal here. <laughs> I 
just like that. Now putting this on here gives me the ability to measure now how far down I want this, this to mount. This one was pretty good with the top of the funnel two and a half inches below the top of the gamma lid here. So that's where I'm going to put this one because that part worked out pretty good. Okay, but before I mount this, I got to drill the hole for the hose to come out down below it. Looks like right about there. Looks like I've gained about an inch. That ought to be perfect for using with, uh, with this style container, which works out for us. You can't get a one gallon jug under here. You're never going to get a one gallon milk jug under here. So it's gotta be these, these are what we're going with. But these have been working in the past. And if we see something different, you know, we'll try using that. But for now, this'll work. Thank you guys for the step bits. Much appreciated. It's funny because one of you sent me the two smaller ones and the other one sent the two bigger ones, giving me a pretty good complete set. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, one thing I'm gonna to try to do here is to warm this plastic up and uh, kind of relieve the hole a little bit so that the hose points more down instead of coming out at a 90 degree angle. Just letting that cool like that for a minute so it kind of holds that shape as much as possible. I don't know if it will or not, but... There. Perfect. One thing I am doing on the other side of the rivet is using a... Um, a washer on the other side. Just makes it grip better. Oh, that worked. I got the one rivet in here and I'm just leveling it out now to drill the other hole for the other rivet. That's all I'm doing. And this will be pretty much done. Then I'll get Linda out here. She's the boss and she can tell me what she thinks. I think it'll work. Hey, you're just in time. Come see what you think about this. Yeah. I yeah, see. it's a total bathroom remodel. <laughs> it's just a bathroom. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, that's pretty nice. That's pretty uptown there. Yeah, yeah, we got a little more space underneath, so this this fits better now. Yeah, it's easier to get. In and out. Mm -hmm. That puka is nicer than the last one. Yeah, I, I kind of contoured that with a heat gun. Cool. Yeah. And the uh, that bowl thing is uh, it's fine for me. You might have a little bit of problem. How come? Well, contact. <laughs> oh, the lip. Yeah. Yeah, I got the lip pretty smooth, but you're right. That might be uncomfortable for me. Okay, I'll do something about that. You put something over the... Over the lip? The lip, yeah, the edge. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Otherwise, does it meet your approval? <laughs> as long as I... This isn't too tall for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is taller than the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but only, only by an inch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Good deal. I'll get on it. Okay. Fantastic. Well, it almost passed inspection. In fact, it did for her, but she pointed out that that stainless steel lip in there might be a little uncomfortable for me. So let me see what I can come up with. Okay, what Linda's referring to is this edge here. I did get it nice and smooth with sandpaper, but it might be a little uncomfortable. So I'm gonna put something over it here. Oh, 
while we're, while we're looking at this, let's talk about something else here. Let's talk about the diameter of this piece. This is, I think, six inches, but let me, com let me show you some comparisons. That diameter of that bowl is exactly six inches. And my previous uh, funnel, this one here only sticks out about four inches. It was a five inch wide one. This is only about, that, that was just too small. Now this is six. Now this label here is about seven and a quarter. And as you can see, it's intruding into the space back here. That would be about the max that you would want to have is about seven inches. Frankly, I think six inches is just about perfect. This is what I ended up with. I just took a piece of uh, three eighths inch hose and uh, I split it. Actually, this might be quarter inch, but I just split it and then I put it over the lip, bedded it down in a little um, RTV adhesive sealant and it should stay on there fine. It should be very comfortable. Okay, this one's definitely an improvement over the last one. Now, some things you're probably wondering about, we don't, with this gamma seal lid, it's rounded enough on top. We don't need a toilet seat. We don't exactly sit out there and spend any time. I mean, it might be a nice sunset or something, but we tend not to spend any time sitting on here. So this gamma seal lid is actually pretty comfortable. We used to use plastic bags down inside because I know a lot of you are wondering about that. But the plastic bags do not work very well when you've got this funnel down inside because it's just hard to tuck it in around the funnel. And these aren't that hard to clean. Generally, we empty it out about once a week for when the two of us are using it. And, you know, you, you start out by putting in a couple of cups of sawdust to begin with, like you saw in this one just some loose sawdust in there. Just to start, you layer some sawdust on the bottom. And whatever, after you empty it out into a plastic bag once a week, you know, to haul it to the landfill or whatever, it, it doesn't leave much behind. It's so easy to clean, just a little tissue and a little uh, uh, a Clorox spray or something like that. It, it's very, very easy. In fact, it's a lot easier than dealing with plastic bags on a daily basis or something. We had them, we've had them tear and it's, we just didn't like it. We used plastic bags for a couple of years. We gave up on it. So I guess we can just leave it at that. This wasn't a how to build it. For example, there are other funnels that you could use inside like this one, or perhaps this one. And they would be a lot easier than what I did. I can't guarantee those are going to work. I think those are five inch diameter. So they're a little, little smaller and it's going to depend on how much vertical height you have. This was just to show you that there are some things that make this job, you got to think about it a little bit because if this was easy, everybody could do it. But this one works out. Didn't have to build a box around it. I've got enough height for a container underneath and I can put a gamma lid on top, a gamma seal lid up on top. This is a winner. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.